she will be missed by all those who had the honor of knowing her. How will I get by without her? Life goes on. Theater, plays, they're some of the earliest forms of human expression. But why do we tell them? Why do we make them up? Is it just for entertainment? Or is there something more? These are all great questions and they deserve answers. But I'm just curious about what makes a good story? God bless her immortal soul. I can't believe she's gone. She was so nice to everyone. Well. Now, a good story has good people with good characters that you want to hang out with and maybe even be friends with. You want to participate on their journey. Now, this may sound ridiculous. This may sound awful, but some of the funniest moments I've ever had in my entire life were right here at a cemetery, at a funeral. Now, I don't know why that is. Maybe the person in the ground was really funny and made me laugh. Or maybe I was so sad that all I could do was laugh. Or maybe I didn't want to be sad. I just appreciated the people around me. There are always so many flowers left at a funeral service. I'm going to bring some to Sister Anne at the convent. She's always so appreciative. At least she won't annoy me anymore. How long is this gonna take? I gotta pick up my kid in 10 minutes. Now the best stories make us laugh and cry, because saying goodbye is always hard, isn't it? Is anybody else hungry? I could eat. Hey! Where did everybody go? Harold! Mom? Come join us at the Riant Theater on March 13th and 14th and follow Harold's journey as he says goodbye to a loved one. Katie, what do you think about at a funeral? I think about getting in and out as fast as possible because I don't want anybody to ask oh, me any questions about that? what's going on in my life. In and out as fast as possible. <laughs> hey, he's, back. he's back. His caffeine kicked in.